Hello everyone, welcome to Vietnam, a land of peace and charming beauty. Today, we are going to tell your story about our Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese agents, why we have full moon and why the story we explain about our meat autumn. So now we are going to demonstrate it. I look forward to your attention. Once upon a time, there was a man called Goy. He earned a living by cutting the tree in the forest. One day, when he was on his way to the forest, he came across a cave, and right from the cave appeared a little tiger. I'm the baby tiger. <laughs> wow. Scared? Afraid of me? Wow. Wow. Lapsy eagerly. Lapsy victory. Yo, good lad. Oh, there's the bird. There's the bird over there. Bird. Oh, my bird. Stupid <gasps> tiger. Stupid tiger. Stupid tiger. <laughs> Die. Yeah. <laughs> stupid tiger. The tiger died, and right at that moment, the tiger mother came home. Who was so afraid, and he, but he managed to quickly climb on a tree to hide. <gasps> I am tiger mother. Yeah. Where's my baby? Tiger, where are you? Are you sleeping? Wake up! Come on, go to his arm. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do? How can I save him? Yeah, I know one way. Wait a minute. Eat it. and decide to bring the magical tree to his home. On his way home, he saw an old man lying in the middle of the street. <laughs> oh man, wake up. I'm sleeping in the tree. Okay, we go. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. What should I do? Oh man. Oh, oh, ah, I remember. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I am. I'm a cool. Uh, I saw you sleeping there. Oh no, you're dead there. <laughs> yeah. And I remind you about this. Weird. Oh, what a weird tree. Ah, you have to take care of it. Fill it with poor water. Poor water. Don't fill it with dirty water. Why else? Oh, yeah. It will fly to the sky. Oh, thank you, old man. It does. Goodbye. <laughs> so brought the tree home and placed it in his garden. He took care of the tree considerably. And thanks to the tree, Good. We're able to shape a lot of dead life. Oh, I must fill the water the tree with pure water. Please help me. What's up? Oh, 
is that? <laughs> Are you oh. okay? Oh, I'm alive! Thank you for oh, so much! Keep on following! Bye bye! Bye bye! Ta da! In the village, there was a rich man. One day, his beautiful daughter accidentally fell off the river and drowned. Boy, boy, there you are! I am looking for you! My daughter! My daughter, she fell off the water Where and drowned! She? Come, come with me! Here! Oh my god! He's so ugly! My daughter! Wait for me! Say something! Why am I sitting here? Oh, you are alive! You are alive, my daughter! I'm so happy! You fell off the water and you died! And the young man revived you! Come, come here! Come here! Go away! Go away. Uh, I'm so appreciate. What can I do for you? Nothing. Oh, I got an idea. Why don't you marry my daughter? <laughs> I'm rich. I consider. So marry or not? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every day, they took care of the trees and shaved many people in the village. I will show that our trees is very weird. This is very magic, but you need to water it with pure water. Why? Because if you fill it with a polluted water, it will fly to the sky. Fly to the sky. So, pure water. I remember. Why is a beautiful and thoughtful woman, but unfortunately, she's a very forgetful woman. Mm, yummy. Mm. Tasty. Mm, run out. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I told you, don't uh, put the garbage in this tree. This will fly to the car. I told you so. Hi again, stupid. What's hot there? Oh. Why you want so fly to the sky badly? <laughs> One day, Go went back to the forest. Well, where are you going? I need to go to the forest. Okay, okay stay home. Remember, don't water this tree. Uh, okay. His wife stayed at home and washed the clothes and poured dirty water into the magical tree. Wow. He's so dirty. <laughs> ah, tree, are you thirsty? <laughs> right at that time, suddenly the ground started shaking and the tree oh flew the sky. So it came back and tried to pull the tree back. The tree keep on leaving. It took to a long way to the moon. Well, well. <laughs> now today, on each full moon night, we still see God sitting under the tree, and how that is how the story happened. We appreciate your listening, and we wish you a happy mid-autumn.